Collective. How are you doing, baby? Gonna do a quick reading here, Bo, okay, for whoever may need it. If you feel you were drawn to the reading, love, or to the title, this may be for you. If it feels like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about in your situation, you like, bitch, who are you talking to? It ain't for you. Not one size fits all on the Just Smile channel. Always remember that. Okay, babe, so let's see what we got going on now for the collective spirit. What's going on for my dear collective spirit for this message? Okay, I felt the need to put out a message, y'all. Don't worry about it. Nala in the background. She always up in my business. Especially when it comes to readings like I can't do it myself. So I accept her. Hmm. Spirit, what we got going on for the collective right now? Thank you guys so much for the like, share, subscribe. Those that don't even subscribe. Those that dislike. Thank you. Okay. Come as you are, darling. Come as you are. Okay, I'm not going to do too many cards here. I don't want to confuse my loves. You are successful and that intimidates them all. Baby, you got some haters, okay? You are successful despite what anybody has said to you or what they done doubted about you. You got it all made. I regret everything I had. No idea you were the one. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Release your ex-person. Okay, collective. Some of y'all in the works are doing that. I don't know why. I feel like that's not something that's missing for the most of you. I feel stuck in my current relationship. So somebody got something that they didn't want to get into. Your success is actually collected. Y'all got somebody here that switched up on you because they didn't feel like you were going to be successful in, one, what, in whatever, whatever endeavor that you are doing. They feel a bit ashamed. I'm just going to tell you right now. Yeah, I'm going to keep these cards out. This is going to be a short message for the collective. Wow. Okay, you're successful, that, and that intimidates them all. Whoever the all is, it could be friends, family, lovers, exes, whatever the fuck have you. You could be laying with this person. I regret everything. I had no idea you were the one. Bitch, you should. Release your ex-person. Release this motherfucker, because they ain't no good. They feel stuck in the current relationship they in, because the person that they with ain't shit. Somebody went over, thought the grass was greener, whatever have you. Okay, well, stay in that grass, motherfucker. Mow the lawn. Fertilize it. Whatever you got to do. Don't come back to my collective with that bullshit. If you don't like the fact that I cuss, baby, exit. Okay, I'm grown. I don't need nobody to give me any spiritual, no type of lessons on how to talk. My spirit guys don't curse, but I do. They accept it. Spirit, what's this you're successful that intimidates them all? For my beautiful collective spirit. Y'all doing the damn thing. Ace of Wands. Having new beginnings, having new things coming for you, and you're passionate about this. Okay? You are passionate about this beginning that you're having. You're passionate. All right? People don't like the fact that you're passionate about your new beginning. People want you to be sad about it, okay? It intimidates this person that you're actually looking forward to something instead of doing whatever the fuck they thought was going to happen. Somebody probably might have left you or walked away from you or you walked away from them and their last words was, you ain't going to be shit, you ain't never shit. Look at me now. I'm getting paper, okay, collective? Many of you are about to get some type of promotion. Spirit, give me something. You're successful and that intimidates them all, Spirit, please. Thank you. The Empress. God dang. This new beginning is very passionate for you because now you know who you are. Okay? You know who you are. You had somebody stopping you the whole time. Again, somebody that wasn't about shit. Yeah. Five of, one, five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody that tried to play mind games here with you as if you ain't worthy enough to be who you are or that you was never going to be nothing. Now they see you. Like I said before, look at me now. Look at you, collective. Look at you, baby. Look at you. You were dealing with somebody that wasn't shit. It wasn't you. It was the person you was fucking with. People got to understand, collective babes. Listen here. I'm all for the love. I am. I truly am. The love is great. But sometimes love is not enough. You can love somebody so much, but they don't want to make no changes. They don't want to They don't want to cooperate with you. they rather go against you. They're jealous of that energy that you've got. You being this energy, being successful, you being motivated to be successful, you having the energetic energy energetic energy that may not make sense one two three it does to me okay you you having that that dominance towards your motivation okay not submitting to what anybody else around you has to say or what they think their two cents don't add to your damn bank account and this is what somebody's sitting here they're in awe their mouth is to the motherfucking flow if they pick it up maybe they stop drooling over you okay somebody here didn't think you was gonna be anything Period, point blank. Male or female. Empress. You have that beautiful energy. The Empress isn't just like a person. It has the energy of ability to grow things. 
from nothing to something, growing, planting seeds, abundant, beautiful, okay? I love this collective. I love the energy you're in. And don't let nobody tell you that you're not worth anything. That's only them telling themselves that and they hope to project that bullshit onto you. The answer would be el no -o. Hell no. Fuck no. Okay? No, you're gonna tell me I'm not gonna be nothing because you ain't shit. You assume that I'm in the same category. Oh no. Oh no. Spirit, what we got for I regret everything. I had no idea you were the one. See? You were the empress the whole goddamn time. Strength. This person's trying to so bad to hold back their feelings for you. So bad, trying to hold back, trying to hold the strength, having the strength, okay, to try to tame the energy of them wanting to come towards you, them wanting to come at you and tell you, look, you were right, I was wrong. You were right, and I was wrong. Okay? It's like, to me, collected, somebody here thought that they had the, the they, they were the cat's pajamas. They thought they were the, they thought they were the table. They thought they were the bacon, the bread, the eggs, the egg rolls, whatever have you. They thought they were everything. They ain't nothing. Now they need strength to get in this information. Now they need strength. They weak. They weak. They need your strength to replenish them. My dear empress, empresses, my sister empresses, okay? Divine feminines, divine masculines, whatever you want to call yourself, baby, I'm for it. You like it, I love it. It's all you. If you coming as you are, I love you for that. Being authentic, being in your, being in your power. Beautiful. Come as you are, babe. Come as you are. You don't have to have a bunch of makeup and shit on to feel good and feel powerful. Shit, your energy speaks for itself. They either deal with it or get lost. Somebody here got lost thinking that they was the energy. They thought they was the shit. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Reverse, reverse. I regret everything. I had no idea you were the one. Somebody needs milk. They weak. Two cups. Now they want to be on the same page. This person fantasizes about you. They had no idea you were the one sent to them to help their lives grow. They had no idea you were the one that was actually anointed. Okay? This person is shallow as shit because they only look at the outside. They don't look deep within. If somebody looks like they got money, if somebody looks like they're rich, then that's where it is for them. <laughs> you better off. You better off. They're going to run into a lot of disappointments. They're going to run into a lot of disappointments. People can sit there and rent jewelry now. You know that? Yeah, I, I found that out not too long ago. You can rent jewelry, take pictures with it, and then put the shit back. It don't belong to you. It's flexing. Somebody here thought they saw a gold watch or a gold Rolex or a gold chain or a nice fancy-ass car on somebody. Come to find out that part, that person was driving a motherfucking rental. All you were doing was trying to gather your strength to get your stuff together because Spirit didn't want to show you completely to this person. They had, they kept you hidden from this weak-ass person. Weak in the mindset. Weak in the in, in, in within. Shallow. Shallow. I can't look deep within. I don't got time for that. I need to find somebody that's already well put together. I can't be around somebody that's actually building their shit for themselves. Sad. Here, give me something for this two of cups. What's this person is a two of cups? What, they try to be on the same page? Not a sword. Now they want to come in. They want to be in agreement with you. You are the empress. You do deserve the best. You do deserve passion. No, nah, baby. You are successful, collective. I don't give a damn if you're driving a two-door car. A two-seater, it does not matter. You are worthy. Do you understand? People that walk away from you, there's a reason. You too much for them, so they need to go find less. And when they get over there and find less, and then they look into your motherfucking backyard and see greens, cucumbers, tomatoes, shit, motherfucking cauliflower, anything growing in your garden. When they start seeing that shit grow, that's when they start regretting. Because they sitting over here and something that's from the motherfucking uh, dollar. It's fake. It's fake, collective. Understand? You're worth more than you could ever imagine. The only reason why you couldn't see it, because you had a lot of people around you that said you would not be. And they don't have to say it out their mouth verbally like that, okay? They actions show that they didn't believe in you. And now what you supposed to do? 
Come one, come all. I'm abundant. Now y'all can come. Now you can come through. Hell no. Nah. If somebody can't see your worth without beautiful garments and everything like that, they don't deserve your best. They do not. You were hidden in plain sight. You were bought and anointed. You have an anoint, anointing on you. Beautifully blessed by the universe, by God himself. God anointed you and then bought this person and you together. And this motherfucker did not have the eyes to see. Now, what makes you think now that they can see from a distance, they get to deserve, they, 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 they suddenly deserve you. Oh, you better make this motherfucker kiss the ground you walk on. And I'm not saying be conceited. You know, yo, you humble as you are. You've been humble because you put up with they shit for how long? A lot of you was two years, 20 years, five years. You was humble enough. They didn't see it. They didn't see it. Mm, mm, mm. Release your ex-person collective. Release they ass. Let them flop back like a rubber band if they have to. But you get to make the decision, of course, whether you want to take this person back or not. Be very mindful of who they could still be connected with as they come back in, seeing you in your new beginning, your glory, and your success. Because let me tell you, collective, and something I've learned throughout the years, okay? And even being an adult, even being a terror reader, we're human. We learn too, baby, okay? Trust me. We learn lessons all the time. When you bring people around your energy, when it's at this top tier, and you bring motherfuckers that are leeches, that are obsessive, that are greedy, that are full of misery and full of pain, watch how quick you fall down with them. It's the energy, baby. It's the vibes. Of course, you want to heal. You want to help. But some people are just not willing to help their damn self. Okay? They want what you have, but they're not willing to put in the work. Be careful. Ten of coins. Release your ex-person. So you can have the Ten of Pentacles. Whether it's with the ex or not, release them. Let their energy go. You keep growing. What's meant to be will be. Okay? Don't force a damn thing. You don't have to. You're powerful. You don't have to force shit. <laughs> Please, honey. You ain't got to force shit. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I ain't telling no lies. Nothing but the damn truth. Okay? That's the problem with people. When it's right in front of their face, they can't see it because they so these, these this day and world collective is so full of options, and that's so sweet. But not every goddamn option you run into is worth your time. And somebody's gonna learn that the hard way. So for them, not being awake or loving. Or able to see. They rather turn blind to it. They see the small things you're doing. Oh, that's not enough. I need something bigger. I need a big old huge. These motherfuckers like to live like Beyonce's when they they motherfucking ants. They're normal people. And I'm not saying Beyonce's better than anybody. No, 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 no. I'm just stating her lifestyle is different from a lot of other people's. And that's okay. She worked to get there. You worked to get here. So now why let a damn leech come into your house knowing exactly what they're there to do? You already know. They've shown you. Oh, you don't have enough. I think something over here is better. I'm sorry. Now they stuck. I feel stuck in my current relationship. That's what you get for jumping. Because you're a leech. When something looks great, you run for it. Not your problem. So if you do give this person another chance, because I, I really truly believe for some of you collective, they regret everything. They had no idea you were the one. They couldn't see. Whatever excuse. I was blind. I was going through a lot. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever have you. You have the free will to let them back in. But be very mindful, okay? Releasing people sometimes is a good thing. Sometimes people need to be released so they can go on ahead, go out there and see what the fuck is out there, Okay? And if you're still available when they come back and they don't did some growing, you know what I'm saying? It's cool to let them back in the devil if you want. 
But I feel like lessons are meant to be learned, not to be relearned, not to have to keep dealing with the shit, not closing out cycles to relive another cycle that's the same motherfucking cycle you just closed out. For what? <laughs> Collective. This Ten of Pentacles sitting up in here. Release your ex. Release the ex person. Release somebody. And it doesn't have to be just like literally somebody you were committed with. This could have been something that did not get off the ground completely. Somebody may have said, you know, I'm not ready or blah, blah, blah. And you're like, okay. Release that individual so you can get this Ten of Pentacles. And it don't have to be with another person. It could be with just yourself. You can be happy by yourself. It's what you make it. Not another person. No. No. Three of coins at the bottom of the deck. You put in a lot of work. Release your ex-person spirit for the collective. Spiritually guided. Spiritual guide card came out. I'm very surprised this card came out because it don't come out often. Your spirit guide is giving you information. Look, I know what it is you want, collective. Do you know what you want? Do you know who you are? Do you know what you deserve? Because as we all know, collective, everything's not promised. You can have it today and it be gone tomorrow. So a mother sucking leech that don't like you, not that don't like you, but doesn't like to be around when you're going through the hard times and when you're trying your best to get to where you want to get to, it's just taking time. It takes work. It takes dedication. But they can't stick around for that. See, they have wondering eyes when they see that something ain't going to grow overnight. Would you really feel like that's worth somebody to have around you? Because one day you may... You may fall a bit. You may stumble. Are they going to go to somebody else that they feel may have it better than you? The Empress don't deserve that. Male or female, again, I say it. No. Fuck no. I feel stuck in my current relationship. Somebody that you know collective or somebody that you've already released. They feel stuck where they at. Five of Swords. They playing that person too. <laughs> And that's some shit. The person they probably with think they got some. Oh, I got what you want. No, the fuck you don't, bitch. You took my trash for me, okay? You you vacuumed my motherfucking dirty ass carpet in my car at that after I had a whole bunch of people in it. You vacuumed my shit. You sucked up all the dirt. You took the dirt with you. Somebody getting played. Somebody getting played just like they were doing you. It is no different. This person needs a, a bit of an ego death. Okay, or they probably need some type of, of humble pie. Okay? Because this person, whoever that you're dealing with, collective, whoever's holding on to you or sees you as a successful individual with brand new things coming in, this Ace of Wands feels like new sex, new love, new opportunities, new money, new everything. It's passionate. It's a wand, baby. And as we all know, passion can ignite. And as quick as it ignites, it goes out. I don't feel like this flame is going out anytime soon. I think you deserve this. Period, point blank. Look, not a wand at the bottom of the deck. More wand energy. Okay? I feel stuck in my current relationship spirit. So whoever you release collective, or whoever that you are, are in the process of releasing, okay? Remember that you don't just release somebody physically, okay? You got to release them energetically. Pray, meditate, do whatever you can. Spirit, I call back my energy from that person that took it from me or that I gave it to. Please give it back to me. I want to own my energy. I want to keep my energy. I want to embody my own energy. I want my power back. I want my energy back. I don't want to give it out anymore to people that don't appreciate it. Because I am the Empress. I can grow things. I am abundant. Okay, I'm abundant. I'm an abundant being. And someone that does not appreciate that my appreciate my abundance and the love and the energy I have to offer, I would like to call it back. Now be my, now be very mindful, because for many of you, you've been giving out your energy to some someone or some people for quite some time. So asking for that energy to be back to be returned back to you could be a bit of a shock. Okay. You might feel yourself a lot more than you ever have in your damn life. And I'm telling you, be careful. Because that can override your humbleness, okay? You guys are still loving individuals. You're still caring. But calling your power back is something amazing. I'm not giving it away no more. Okay? There, there's nothing that they can If they want to give you their energy, fine. 
Don't accept it. You don't have to. That's a them thing, not a you. I called my power back. I prayed to have my power back. And so now I'm going to be in my power, okay? A thousand percent. And then they can't feel you no more. They're going to be like, where did the collective go? Why did they leave me? What they didn't fail, what they failed to understand is that they're not entitled to your energy. You were humble enough to give it freely, lovingly. They're not entitled. Four of Wands. They feel stuck with the Five of Swords here and seeing you in the Four of Wands. Let me tell you, Collective, this Four of Wands don't have to be with another person. You can simply have a studio apartment. You can simply be renting out a room, whatever the fuck have you. You are free. You don't have to answer to people. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You got a roof over your head, no matter where it is. You can be an empress on a couch. Don't call yourself small, honey. You're the big boss. You understand? They're stuck while you celebrating. They feel stuck because they see you in the four of wands while they're in the five of swords, still trying to play their way. Fake it till they make it energy. Spirit, one more. They feel stuck in their current relationship. Three of swords and heartbroken. They're playing whoever they're with. I don't care how much you see them. Oh, they look so happy and, you know, I'm so happy for them. Be happy for them, of course. You're humble, my loves. My collective's humble. They're loving. They're giving. But they know how to put a cap on that shit. I'm calling my energy back. I'm not giving you no more. You had enough. Now play with that person you with. Okay? Play with them blocks and colors. You need me to get you a couple coloring books? I'll send them in the mail. Okay? Because I'm humble. Keep playing. I'm growing. Okay? I'm on my adult shit. Okay? Yeah. King of Wands. Look, the lovers. They with somebody else. And you blocking it out. You taking your power back. Justice. Libra energy. Eight of Wands. Calling your power back. You see these eight of wands, be very mindful. Because when those eight of wands energy, when that stuff, when that energy starts coming back to you, that energy you've been having, but you've been giving it away. When that energy comes back to you, baby, you're gonna feel really good about yourself. I'm not even choking you. You're gonna feel so good calling your power back. And then to actually receive it, it might be shocking. You might wake up feeling really good, feeling excited to live life again. Cause this has been you. Spare, give me something for that Empress. Two of Swords. You didn't see it before. This has been you. This has been you. You need the correct healing, honey. You need the correct healing. Everybody else around you was so damn envious and intimidated because they knew who you were. Judgment. They knew it. Spirit. Give me something that ten coins and that spiritual guide. For the collector, please. One more. Close this out. Knight of Coins. It took some time to release this person. Some of you are still taking the time to release. It's okay. And when you're done, call back your power so you can get back to your investing in yourself. Seven of coins. Investing in yourself and celebrating yourself. Investing in yourself, celebrating yourself, loving yourself. And so your true soulmate can come in. We have many soulmates in a lifetime. Some are meant to come in and teach us. Some are meant to stay. Some of you want to have that one that's going to stay. The emperor. Like I just said, some of y'all gonna want that one that's gonna stay. The emperor to the empress. Place yourself where you fit, baby. The sun. It's time for happy times. It ain't time for no legion times. Ace of swords. I ain't tell no lies. Some of you will get back with this person. They may grow. But wherever they at, they heartbroken. Because they ain't the five of swords, three of swords energy. They playing whoever the fuck they around now. Okay? Watching you be in your glory. I feel stuck because I see the collective and the four of wands energy. I couldn't see who they were before, but they definitely that empress and they about to have their emperor come in. Oh, now I want to match them. I need strength. I need, I need, uh, I need confidence. I need, I need some energy. Take your power and your energy back. Period. It's yours. And they feed off that shit. I feel stuck in my current. You going to stay stuck. Mm-hmm. 
Love him from a distance, baby. Love him from a distance. I wish the best for you, but I'm, I'm embarking on a new journey. I'm embarking on new. The conflict you kept bringing in my life, I can't take it no more. Spirit, messages, close out the reading, please. Spirit, thank you. For the collective. I Thank you, Spirit. I wanted three cards, and look what they gave me. Open heart. Open your heart to the new. Open your heart to the new. Don't be afraid of it, okay? Memories. They stuck thinking about you. Commitment. The memories is making them want to commit. And perspective. They have a new perspective on things at the bottom of the deck. Again, open your heart to new things. They're stressed. They want to come apologize. And they want to bring peace to the situation. But honey, that pride, that ego, that pride, just figuring that you might be intimate with somebody else, that's their karma. They have to sit in that five of swords stuck in a current connection they don't even want to fucking be in because they didn't think you were good enough. Fuck them. Like that's been your reading babies okay thank you guys so much for joining just smile tarot okay baby listen i love you to the moon and back somebody says i don't they lying i love everybody i love everybody i love my enemies too baby how you doing okay collective have a very beautiful safe weekend i will be back okay thank you guys so much for the like share subscribe thank you guys so much for the wish list thank you so much for the donations you guys are awesome i love you to the moon and back take good care and i'll see you next time Mwah. bye bye